Hello YouTube friends. Today we are doing my empties video for June. So before we start off, I am going to show you my lipstick of the day. Today it is a Clinique product and this one is called Black Honey. This is their almost lipstick collection. So this is what it looks like. It is very light and very sheer. This is what the color actually looks like in a tube. I got it in a re recent um, Sephora order that I got online. So when you look at this, you would not think that it will end up looking like this. But I'm really liking this. I think this will be a really fun um, one to just either keep in my purse or just as like my daily go-to in the fall. I feel like it just has the right um, not burgundy, that's not the, the color I'm looking for, but like almost just that like really natural but just slightly deeper than my natural lip color to it, but I feel like it would go with so many different fall tones. So I like it a lot. It's a little more sheer than I would normally pick, but I like it. All right, so we're gonna get into my empties. Luckily this time there aren't quite as many as the last time because this is only about probably a month's worth, maybe six weeks. So we're going to get into this. Um, first of all, if you are new here, hi, I'm Meredith and thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe and hit that notification bell. So today we're going to talk about this Wella conditioner. Now this is the larger back bar size. And as you can see, I used every last bit. It smells really good. They recently redid the packaging, so it's actually a lighter shade of red, and I think they may have reformulated. But overall, this Wella Professionals um, brand is pretty good. This is the Brilliance um, Treatment, AKA Thicker Conditioning Mask, for coarse and colored hair. Um, I do know that they sell this line at Ulta if you are interested in trying it out. Um, but yeah, I liked this one a lot. I actually do not have thick or coarse hair. My hair is actually quite fine, even though the curl makes it look like I have a whole lot more. But um, this is nice and thick and gives a lot of good moisture to my curly hair. So I don't bother with the fine one. They do have a fine version. If you have straight hair, I think the fine version is great. Um, I just, with my curls, I'm going to use a less product per application if I buy the thick one um, and so it just ends up saving me money in the long run so I really liked this one um, we did another bottle of the Paul Mitchell instant moisture shampoo this is what my husband has been using in the shower lately um, I think it's just okay I think if you have normal or slightly dry hair that um, isn't color treated doesn't need a lot of time a ton of extra moisture this is great for me it's this line isn't that moisturizing it's more the conditioner I should say than the shampoo but so this is a good one it's okay but it's not amazing it doesn't wow me if you've watched any of my um, empties lately you will know that I am a huge fan of the Mrs. Myers apple cider scent I think I've had at least one of these in every empties video for a while um, I bought a ton of them when they went on clearance last fall because this is my absolute favorite scent so you know there you are I, I like it I'll repurchase it you've seen it a hundred times so the next one is a Shumora product this is their liquid fabric mineral texture spray. Now this is actually what I use um, usually only in the summertime. I will spray this on the top of my head um, simply because most curl products, I feel like it's almost not quite enough frizz control with the insane humidity that we have here in Minnesota in the summertime. So I really like this. It does leave a little bit of a crunchy feel when you let it air dry. So you do have to kind of go back in and scrunch to sort of soften the curls back up. Um, right now I have a ton of little fuzzy pieces and flyaway guys because I had a baby about, oh, you, can see, you can see a chunk of them right here. I had a baby, um, well, 16 months ago and I had a ton of postpartum hair loss and that is all now growing back in. So, so many little pieces of hair are just at that stage where they just look like frizz right now. So I've been using this to help combat that. Um, I really like Shumora as a brand. I feel like they have a ton of great products, but I will say it is on the pricey side. So that is something to keep in mind. 
I've got another bottle. I was almost out of conditioner, both types of conditioner, the last time that I filmed. So now I have two of them in here. Um, this is the Enrich Moisturizing Conditioner for Coarse Hair. Um, and once again, this is for thick hair. This is the Wella Professionals line as well. It's just a daily versus the mask. And I'm not sure if they redid this line or not. Um, but I really liked it. It had a nice smell, but it wasn't too heavy. I liked it. We used up some Method Antibac Toilet Bowl Cleaner in the Spearmint scent. It was okay. I have to say that when it comes to Toilet Bowl Cleaner, I think I'd rather just use the Lysol. I know it's harsher in chemicals, but it's your toilet, so who cares? Not planning to eat anywhere near. So. We went through a bottle of the Mrs. Myers uh, Mint Hand Soap. Um, I really liked this. I don't feel like it smells that minty, but I liked it. And I just like Mrs. Myers in general. Actually, like I feel like this is kind of an advertisement for Mrs. Myers and Method. There's a lot of both. Um, we went through one of the Method um, Honey Crisp Apple hand washes. This is one of my favorite scents. I like Method hand soaps and products in general. I feel like they have a really good dish soap as well. So we went through that. More hand soap. Um, this is the Moisturizing Hand Soap Milk and Honey. This is the Up and Up Target brand. Um, I like the smell. It's good. Um, I use this one a lot of times for my kids simply because they go through hand soap so quickly um, in their we have our upstairs bathroom has dual sinks so my husband and I share a sink and my kids share a sink so we put this at the kids one so that when they're using gobs of hand soap they're not washing four dollar hand soap down the drain when they can wash 92 cent hand soap down the drain I also went through a small bottle of the pretty as a peach fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works I really like this scent um, sprays on nicely and um, that's about all I have to say about that. Ooh, here we go. I used up the bottle of the Way Leave-In Conditioning Spray. This is, yeah, Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I really liked this. I felt like it was a little thicker than a lot of other conditioning sprays. Um, it does have a little bit of a stronger scent when you first spray it on, but it does dissipate quickly, so it's not like you're smelling it on your hair all day. Um, and I also tried the Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. Um, if I had to pick one, I would say that I liked the Way Hair Care better. This one does have um, a very light scent to it. So if fragrance is something that bothers you, you might want to go with this one. But if I'm being honest, I use spray leave-in conditioner on my hair every single day whether I get it in a FabFitFun or a Sephora Play or whatever. Um, but these are both more expensive than the one that I normally purchase for myself. So I would have to say that my recommendation is still the Kenra, it's called Daily Provision um, Conditioning Spray, is still the one that I would recommend to you guys. So these are both fine. Um, they're both sold, sold at Sephora and Living Proof, I believe you can also get at Ulta. But at the end of the day, Kenra would still be my pick because I think it's like almost 10 bucks cheaper a bottle. So there you go. I went through a tube of the Invisible Solid Secret pH Balance Powder Fresh deodorant. It works. I don't feel like I smell. Um, it doesn't seem to have a lot of transfer onto my clothing, which is nice. And then... Something I'm not going to repurchase. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I don't use concealer all that often, like unless I have a really big blemish or something like that. I use um, Tarte's Tinted Moisturizer, which I absolutely love. Um, but I felt like when I used this, like um, on my under eye, um, I used it recently to film some videos, and I just feel like it gets really crepey and settles easily in fine lines and wrinkles and I feel like when I use it it makes me look older. I will say it is good coverage if you just are like trying to cover a blemish but I don't think I'd buy it again. I didn't love it enough to spend the price the tart price tag on it. 
So I would love to know if you guys have any um, concealer recommendations. I'm going to be looking for a new one since I'm getting rid of this because I've had it for quite a while and it's probably past its expiration date at this point. So definitely let me know if there's anything you think I should get or try. And then let's see. Okay, so I tried the Way. This is their repair shampoo and conditioner foil packs that I got recently. Um, I really liked the smell of the conditioner. The shampoo and conditioner did not smell the same. Um, I liked how it felt on my hair. I felt like it sudsed well, um, rinsed cleanly. So yeah, I, you know, if I got a chance to purchase it on sale or something, I might try using it again. Um, I liked it. I did get a sample of the Glam Glow Tropical Cleanse Daily Exfoliating Cleanser. I didn't love it. Um, first of all, it has, um, it's a granular exfoliator and cleanser. I didn't feel like it really exfoliated my face that much, and I didn't feel like the cleanser really got all my makeup off. I used it at the end of the day, so I wasn't thrilled with it, so definitely not something I think I would spend the money to purchase. I did go through a, a watermelon lemonade bath and body works candle and oh my god it just smells amazing <laughs> I bought this during the um, semi-annual sale from ba at bath and body works and I went back and bought another one I liked it that much it had really good throw it burned down pretty well there's still a little bit in there um, but yeah it my whole living room main floor area smelled really good um, so I would totally purchase this candle again. I already have. And that's that. Ooh, it's a lot of talking. Hold on. I need some coffee. Somebody wanted to know why I'm so cheerful in all my videos. It's because a lot of coffee is consumed. Okay, we're down to the last few. Okay, I was really impressed by this. Ooh, let's see if we can focus it. This product. So this was only, this sample only had enough for one use, which is a bummer because I actually really liked it and I would like to have seen how it performed over time. Uh, but this is the Amore Pacific Treatment Enzyme Peel Cleansing Powder. So it literally is this white powder and you mix it with a little bit of water in your hands. It foams up really well, so it's a cleanser and an exfoliator. and my face felt different when I was done. Like I could tell it had exfoliated my face. I felt like my face was clean. Um, I felt like my skin was smoother. So I think I have a ton of skincare products that I'm trying out right now uh, because I'm gonna do a skincare video for you guys coming up of a bunch of different face washes and products that I have been trying lately. So I'm not sure if I'm going to purchase this after I'm done with all of those or if I'm going to purchase this to include in the video I haven't decided yet but I really liked this on single use um not that one sorry that shouldn't be in there yet because I haven't finished using the product um and then the last thing that I have here is the Mrs. Myers surface scrub non-scratching uh, cleanser. So this would be comparable to like Comet or Barkeeper's Friend, I think is what it's called. Um, it has, it's that shakeout powder. Um, and this stuff works. I love this. I have purchased it more than once. Um, but I absolutely love how it gets my kitchen sink specifically clean. We have hard water and my house was built in 1965 and the sink is original to the house and it's like a porcelain sink but like it just stains really easily it's sort of like a cream color so I feel like anything and everything will stain it and it can look so dingy very quickly and sometimes dish soap is just not gonna cut it and this is amazing so I actually I just did a grow collaborative order and I'm pretty sure I ordered two of them because I love it uh, and I did purchase the Mrs. Myers baking soda cream cleanser this is scratch free and it cleans and polishes i didn't love it this if you're looking to do like some heavy duty cleaning definitely go with the scouring powder uh, surface scrub excuse me surface scrub over the cream cleanser this is great if you're just you know your sink's not too bad 
if you just want to get your kids you know toothpaste that they left in the sink off that kind of thing this is great but if you want to get stains and hard water and nastiness off definitely go with this one so I will keep this around I'm gonna use it up this is still pretty full but I used it on my kitchen sink and I didn't love it so anyways that is all of my empties for the month of June thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a like subscribe and hit that notification bell and definitely leave me anything you think I should try down in the comments below until next time talk to you soon guys thanks for watching